Have you heard people say to you, I know they said it to me, Christianity is just a crutch. It's something that you need because you're in a time of despair or trouble. Is it true? Let's check it out right here, right now. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, my name is Dan Beasley and this channel is all about inspiring intentional discipleship. Helping you go deeper in your faith and living it out in the world today. So, is Christianity just a crutch for the weak? Uh, those going through times of trouble, those who have no purpose in their life, that Christianity will just hold them up because, you know, when you've got a broken leg, uh, you need crutches to get along to be able to move yourself. Um, a lot of people say that and um, you know, in my testimony, I came to faith through the loss and death of my parents. And it's um, it could have been labelled at me, and it actually was labelled at me. That's what my faith was about. But, you know, um, nine years later, I'm still a Christian. I'm a vicar. And my faith is stronger than it's ever been. So I kind of disprove myself through my own testimony, living out my life, that it's not a crutch for the week. But people still will say that. Um, and it's, it's one of the common arguments out there. How do you, you respond? And um, I remember when I was at Theological College and I went on mission um, to this town and, and sitting down and uh, with this guy and his wife and his whole um, argument was that it's a crutch for the weak. It's a crutch for those who are hurting. And once you get better, um, that's it. You will move on from Christianity. It's just going to prop you up and help you. And that's the, well, how do you respond to that? You know, um, especially when you're in that moment, when you're going through those bad times. And, and, and for some people, it can create doubt. It's like, do I just believe this because I just need it? It's going to help me now. Hang on in there because it isn't. Because uh, when you go through, uh, faith works um, in different ways in your life. But when you're down, uh, your faith will help you in one way. And when you're up, your faith will help you in different ways and that's the, the amazing thing about Jesus in your life he is there with you and helping you when you need that help um, so in a sense yes uh, your Christianity your faith is a crutch because that's what happens uh, Jesus is there for you your church is there for you oh in our church when people go through bad times um, whatever it is I'm so amazed how the church family come around those people and help those people. I'm so amazed all the stuff that goes on, which I don't know about and I hear about later, how the church family will just carry those through. You need to carry through through those times. So is Christianity a crutch for the week? Yes, of course, because that's what Christianity is, is to hold people up. And you don't even have to be Christian. I know the Christians help so many people out there. Uh, but it doesn't mean um, Christianity is a crutch for the week in the sense that uh, faith is, 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 is not real. It, you're just using a belief to get you through a time. Because um, the other thing is with this, um, with Christianity, it forms a worldview um, which you either disagree with or not. And in forming that worldview, you will change the way that you see the world. And so if this is something that you were just um, using for the short time, well, actually it's, it's completely changing the way that you understand and see the world. So for example, if you take um, three major questions, it will inform how we got here. It will form the purpose of our lives. It will inform what happens to us when we die. So saying that this is a, um, something that just kind of gets you through it's something that has an effect and when it has such a major effect on people's lives again it just proves that uh, it isn't a crutch for a week um, when they're just going through a bad time and then you've got all these other aspects of the faith coming in like prayer and answers to prayer um, people being miraculously healed um, the Bible and the guidance of the Bible and you know it's like, if it's a crutch for the week, how do you take these things when you pick up the Bible and you read things and you're going, well, how do I, I take this? It, it, this is a reality. This is a lived out um, reality in our lives. When you become a Christian, it affects every part of your life. It 
can't you see you see what I'm getting at? It's such a weak argument in itself saying that Christianity is a crutch for a week because Christianity changes your life completely. That you can't you, you can't just be a Christian um, for the difficult parts of your life and, and uh, have that um, held up um, for you. And, and then once you're through that part, then it um, it can be put away because you have to take this seriously. You have to take faith seriously, and also it will um, that encounter that encounter with other people in the church, the encounter with the Bible, really forces you to think about those things that you use at the crutch. Um, you don't think about it, you just use it to get through. Uh, but this really does force you to kind of think about how you view the world, how you view other people, how, uh, how you view the Bible and what it's telling you. Um, but I can see where the argument comes from and, and, and even in my own um, story and testimony is that, yeah, I came to faith through um, the death of my parents and so it did help me um, in fact I didn't want to become a Christian or want to become a uh, more atheist let's check out my uh, testimony here um, if you want to hear that but um, it did help me uh, in some aspects and, and other aspects it didn't help me at all uh, it was quite challenging actually but a lot of people come to faith because there, something happens in their life and they question what is life what's the meaning of life what's the purpose of life or whatever it may be something's happened and they're in a vulnerable situation where the world has kind of shattered in some way and i see this so many times and um they start questioning so i can see why people then use this argument uh, you're just using it to get through or you're feeling better because of christianity and it's a, it's a nice religion and all that um actually it is um it makes you question. So for sure, people will use this as an argument. But it's not It's not that. It's because people will be Christians in 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years' time. And, and, and you don't use a crutch for that long. If you break your leg, you're not going to use a crutch for like 30 years, are you? Because you're going to be healed. Um, so the argument breaks down. With these, when people... Uh, things like this, when people say things to you... And by the way, this guy... When I was on the mission, did not listen at all. But he was just stuck there, and he would not budge, no matter how much I said. You know, it might have been a crutch. I could agree with your argument, but not now. Um, I'm kind of getting over that, and, and, and definitely not now. I've moved on in my life and my faith, and dealt with all the emotions of uh, the deaths, and um, definitely, definitely not a crutch but uh, when people don't want to hear they don't want to hear and my lesson I learned from that is when people don't want to hear they don't want to hear no matter what you say so um, but the thing is you know in Matthew um, 9 10 to 13 Jesus does say it's not the healthy uh, that need a doctor but the sick um, and that's true that's who he came to uh, not the righteous but the unrighteous those ones and, and in that we can take it um in those times that's where people turn like I said and, and question and that's why exactly Jesus came for those who mean it's something else but came to those so they could know him so they could come to him so they could find their rest and peace in him and, that, and that's where we are today the church uh, and I love this analogy that people use is um, not a, a kind of ship for the, for the saints it's a hospital for the sick we're all broken people in there and, and when these broken people come together how lives are changed and how they find uh, a commonality through Jesus um, and, and that is completely amazing um, and those people in the church is, is not like all these losers or broken people or, or wherever they came from, come from and, and all those labels that are put on them it's beautiful people piecing back their lives some of them some of them a lot of people by the way can be faith through not through tragic circumstances or question life they can be faith through many different ways um but they come together um and that coming together isn't uh, in that negative sense to um hold each other up what we come together for is to worship god we hold each other up outside the worship we come together on a sunday 
to worship God, to say thank you, to give back to God all that he's kind of given us, is to, to worship and praise him for who he is. Being church outside of that is, is where we hold each other. You see people worship on Sunday, especially people who are broken and really come to know Jesus. Um, worship and they worship in such a, a powerful way. I see um, a whole church of ex-drug addicts and drugs worship and they worship so pure of heart, just unbelievably, it's, it's amazing. Um, that's why we come together on a Sunday, to worship God. Uh, but the church is there for each other as well. The ramblings of the vicar here. But is Christianity a crutch for the week? Absolutely not. It can be at the start as people are questioning. Jesus comes into our lives, he changes, he upholds us. But there's so many other things that, um, as I said, will affect it really invades our, our, what we think of the world, our worldview. We have to question these things. Christianity can't be a crutch without affecting the rest of our lives. When people say these things, push back. Push back on them and, and, and ask them why they think that and, and why Christianity would do that when actually Christianity asks us to change our lives and asks us to stop doing these things. How can be a crutch when it requires change? What do you think? Um, is Christianity a crutch uh, for the weak? Um, and that Christians are weak, I tell you what. There's uh, so many strong Christians I've seen out there. Weak. Uh, never weak in Christ. So, what do you think? Um, put the comments below. Um, subscribe to the channel, like the channel. Share this video if uh, you think it's really important for other people, especially if they um, get people asking these questions all the time through this. And I will see you 